Hi, Aries. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for December 18th through the 25th. Happy Hanukkah. Ha Merry Christmas. Happy Solstice. I'll be doing a, a Solstice uh, video and I'll be doing another one. I'll be doing a lot. I'll be doing a lot of videos. Yeah. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I just put up a um, a standalone video. It's not it's not to row. It's uh, instructions and hopefully um, helpful of how to let go of resentment. All right. So the uh, the um, little mini message is how can I be helpful. And, you know, helpful doesn't just mean to other people. It means helpful to oneself, right? How can I help myself? How can I help others? I mean, you know, it's this time of year, right? All right. Sometimes my little mini messages are questions. Because I, you know, I think it's supposed to be a question because I'm, I'm really my that, you know, I don't want to be like, oh well, you know, I read Tarot and I know all the answers because I, I, I sure don't know all the answers. Um, I think we all know our own answers, right? So sometimes it's like I ask a question. All right. Two. Three. Oh. All right. I'm when I say I am in you. Five change. Change in establishment and change in um organization. The change in um ethics led by the third eye led by um, something bigger perfecting the craft this is also the i i really love this card i always say that it's um it's whistle while you work it's the energy of uh, being so deep in some physical activity that you're like in love with whatever that is and you know so it could be working on something but it could also be like running or meditate or meditating or jogging or uh, swimming you know say it could something for the washing the dishes ironing you know whatever um and it's that's where you get the thoughts it's like between the thoughts is where you get the thoughts right new ideas and then you know, running with your ideas. That's how I always see this one. It's like, run with your ideas. <laughs> I better jump on this as it's happening. Because sometimes it's like you have this flash of an idea and you're like, oh, well, you know, I'll get back to it. But when you get flashes of ideas, that's spirit talking to you. It's not, it didn't just happen for nothing. Yeah, toward abundance, toward fertility, toward creativity, toward flow toward, you know, allowance, toward uh, generosity. Yeah, really clear, super clear. And it's interesting too, because the Ace of Swords, you know, it's an Ace, so it's something new. It's something new. It's like, well, you know, like, how can I be helpful? Like, I used to be helpful, say, with money, right? And now I'm realizing that I can be helpful with, um, listening, or I can be, it's something new that you kind of haven't done before that is, is sort of like, it feels like you're putting on a new outfit, but it fits and um, you're stepping into it in a really, um, I want to say in an elegant way. I mean, like that. Yeah. And through that manifesting, and through that manifesting, this is also a card of um, being very verbal. This and it's another one, so it's a new beginning. But it's also a card of like 
you know, stating out loud, uh, this is what I do, this is what um, I plan, this is what I am, this is what, uh, you know, it's like that. There's a real power in that. It, it's like the difference, sometimes, you know, when I, I pray, I, you know, I you know, like say it in my head, but I, I find it, it's more powerful if I say it out loud. Yeah, I, I find it more powerful. And there's an energy of that in this card because it attaches uh, the physical world to the spiritual world in a way, right? Because if I'm just thinking about it in my head, it's still in the ether, right? I, even if I'm writing it down, it's still like, it hasn't, I mean, it, it's a little bit closer, but saying it out loud, like it owns it. Wow. I got something similar for another sign. So this, this is refusing the gift, right? Refusing the offer. And I, I have a lot of interpretations of that card, I really do. Um, sometimes we offer something and it's not um, accepted. Sometimes we offer help to somebody and they're like, no. And the action of offering a gift is the gift in and of itself. Whether it's accepted or not, doesn't really matter. Sometimes, you know, like, let's say, you know, your friend is having a hard time financially. You say, listen, I can give you or lend you this amount of money and they're like no and it makes you feel bad you know and it's but you did your part so i hear that and then the other part of it is um in order sometimes in order to be helpful to ourselves um we it, it in order to be helpful to ourselves, we need to um, allow ourselves to accept help in order to be helpful to ourselves. So I'll get, I, sometimes I tell this story, I haven't told the story in a long time. Um, I gave somebody a gift and um, it was a, a shirt years ago. And um, they wore it a few times and then they gave it back to me. And um, oh my, it really hurt my feelings. It really hurt my feelings because I gave it out of a sense of, of love. You know, I gave it because like I wanted to give it. And then, you know, when a gift is refused, it, it, it's very, it could be very hurtful. So, you know, if somebody offers you something and even if, you know, like somebody, you know, at Christmas or whatever, people give you something, it's like, I'm never going to use this. <laughs> or it's so ridiculous or so ugly or so whatever. Our job is, is to, you know, accept it gracefully. Accept it gracefully. And, you know, that includes, um, you know, messages and uh, in, in, intuition and healing that somebody wants to offer to you and you say thank you, right? You say thank you. That's all I have to say on that one. Um, anticipating good things. Anticipating good things is second three, so it's you know, there's a lot of creativity going on. Yeah, toward a whole new, this is second ace. Toward, toward, you know, something that's really, um, that could be very lucrative, that, you know, is very clear and open. Lovely. And then he comes up again. So he's come up four or five times already, or my ninth sign, I think, or tenth, I'm not sure. Um, 
knowledge of stability, knowledge of security, knowledge of how to make money. So this is what you're establishing. I think what you're establishing here is uh, something in the physical plane where you're using your new ideas that are really clear. You, you're realizing that you can manifest things. And then I think, you know, someone's going to come in and maybe offer help and you're going to be like, mm, you look, just because you say yes to the gift, right? Like maybe it's advice, right? I'm not saying, oh, someone says, oh, well, I want 50% of it. And, you know, like that, I'd be like, mm, look, it's my idea and I really want to run with it. You know, like this is my baby and I want to bring it up on my own. That's, you know, I get that. But, you know, if somebody like is supportive and even if you don't like them or they're, you know, sometimes, you know, you have these people in your life, it's like, you know, you're really not the brightest light on the Christmas tree in a way. And, um, but, you know, they're loving and supportive and kind. And it's just, just like, just say, thank you. Don't be like, well, you know, I don't really need your uh, advice. I don't really need, you know, don't be like that. It's not, uh, not uh, gracious. I mean, put yourself in that position, right? Yeah. Looks like it's going to be a really good year for you. Right, or a good Christmas season. Maybe you're going to get that bicycle. Uh, you know, it's 11.30, and now they start barking? Really? I can't. And everyone, nobody has one dog here. Everybody has 10. It's a it's a dog family. I like that. And they stopped, but, it's, you know, sometimes it's like, verdad? Okay. Um, oh, my. Look at this. I think you're, you know, onto something really, really exciting here. Really exciting. That's what the cards say. It looks like this new opportunity is going to, like, present itself. And uh, it looks really good. So if a new opportunity presents itself, uh, this is uh, a yes. This is definitely a yes. All right, away we go. Establishing something new, perfecting your craft, running with your ideas toward prosperity, your wishes coming true, being able to manifest whatever it is you want because you have clear thinking and you know you understand the flow and the opportunity, saying yes to the gift because it's being offered, uh, toward expansion, toward anticipating good things, the road ahead is clear, and it's the ability to, like, be secure. What a fantastic reading. I always say, what an interesting reading. This is a fantastic reading. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yay, hooray. Blessings. <laughs>